Hi and welcome to website design. So in this um, lesson we're going to talk about HTML. Now what is HTML? Now HTML is a standard mockup language for creating website pages. HTML code is interpreted by a browser, for instance Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer or Safari and the HTML code is interpreted by the browser and then displayed in such a way it was designed in the HTML code. So the HTML code is like creating a, a template for the text and the styling and everything to display in the browse browser. Um, HTML code um, stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Um, it's very often used in most cases for websites to create websites, to display websites in browsers in certain ways. And it's been with us for a very been long time already. Okay, so HTML code um, is used um, to actually create the website or the basic website. So we will start by first um, getting some of the nitty gritty stuff ready to actually start to program in HTML. So first of all, I want you to go to um, brackets.io. Now this website is a open source um, text editor that you can go and use. You can go and download brackets for free. It's an open source text editor that enables us to do actual very quick and nice website designs. What text, um, this text editor also color codes some of the tags and elements. So it's actually quite nice to see um, where a tag open and where a tag closes and etc. All those nice little um, editing for us. So go and download brackets. I only recommend brackets. Using brackets, it's a very good text editor. So great. After you have downloaded brackets, what I will do is I will open brackets. So I'm just going to great get my brackets open quickly yeah okay and there's brackets so what you will see is brackets will open and we can maximize brackets so this is brackets so what we will do for our first html um, program is we will create a new file so in your new file you will see it will be categorized under working files that's your new file that you actually just created then we will go to save as we will save this file as uh, my first html and i'm going to save this as a dot html file go and save this on your desktop okay and then on your desktop you will see there is your html file save dot html very nice to use and then what we will do is um, we will start to actually code our HTML file. So I'm just going to make the text a big, bit bigger. So the first tag or element that we use is um, what we call the document type declaration. So we start the document type declaration as follows we say open bracket or it's a small then sign and we say exclamation mark and we say doc type doc type html so we need this document type declaration this just to say that this is going to be a html file then we start with our first tag and it's a html tag now every tag as a closed tag so we always need to create a closed tag so how we create a closed tag for html tag is with a forward slash html so this is the open and this is the closed tag so that's our html tag now everything is going to be in this html tag after that what we will do is we will go and create the next tag is what we call our 
hit tag. Now the hit tag is our um, we sum up our code for instance our JavaScript code will be um, and our title and all the libraries or elements that we're going to include into this file. So in the head, let's say for instance, we're going to create a title tag and we're going to also create a close tag. Now what's nice about brackets, as you can see, it creates the close tags for me automatically because it knows that there must be a close. So I'm going to say my title is going to be my first HTML. So that is the title of the web page. After our head tag, we're going to create a body tag. Now the body tag is where most of the code will be, all the um, this text and so forth will be in the body. Now in the body, we can go and create a lot of elements and stuff. We're going to create one element called h1 and it's our heading tag so it's heading one so in the heading tag we will then go and say this will be the heading and then after that we are going to create another tag called p and p is a paragraph tag so paragraph oops paragraph so we're going to see what's the difference between the heading and the paragraph. And that's the basic gist of it all. This is our HTML file. This is a basic, basic website already. What you will see is we will see a heading and we will see paragraph. So what we will do is let's just make dot 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 there and uh, a smiley face. Yeah, so that you can see it will do something okay so how do we view now this website okay so there's two ways of viewing this website what you can do is brackets make it make it very nice you will see on the far right hand side there's a lightning sign and it's live preview so if you've got google chrome it links to the Google Chrome and it actually opens everything up and you will be able to quickly see your website. So it then um, takes this text and display it in the Google Chrome website. So this is actually very nice. So um, brackets work with Google Chrome very nice. So the browser Google Chrome interacts with brackets and you can quickly see um, how your website will look if you do not have Google Chrome or this link doesn't work what you can do is let's minimize this you will see on your desktop we have saved this file as my first HTML dot HTML so what you can go and do is let's say for instance open Internet Explorer Internet Explorer will open so I'm just going to close this and you can take this actual file and you can go and drop it there. And if you go and look, the URL will be our local C drive user. And then also you will see the actual website here. You will see there's the heading, my first HTML. Um, not the, yeah, not the heading as in heading one here, but the title sorry my first html so that's the title then we've got our first heading and a paragraph and that's it that's the basic um, design of a website um, in html so that's the basic body head and html tags you remember you've got open and close tags for each tag um, and then certain places for instance, most of the text will be in the body, in the head, the title will be displayed. So if you run it and you will see in Google um, Chrome that the heading will be there, my first HTML, the title, then some of the text that you want to go and display. That's it all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.